Most people nowadays use the internet for a variety of things, from online school to work to even just connecting with friends and family. Well, if you're anything like me and you practically live on your computer, then you might want to avoid risking your software and your hardware to malicious attacks like I did. According to a study done by Jason Furch, we are seeing a yearly increase in malware infections and overall cyber attacks in businesses and academia. So how exactly can we identify safety risks when using the internet and how can we avoid them? In an article by Mamad, it is explained that phishing is a method of information extraction that hackers use to gather passwords and impersonate people through fake email links and fake surveys. In the same article, it is explained that there is another type of cyber attack called email bombing where a malicious third party will take an email from somewhere and bombard them with thousands of spam messages. In another article, Dr. Maiman explains that malware is an invasive code that can be installed on any device through fraudulent links and third-party hackers, and these can be keyloggers and other things that steal information. Now these are attacks that can happen to anyone. I myself was a victim to email bombing when I was very young, where I clicked on a YouTube link and gave them my email and was afterwards bombarded by thousands of spams. NIST reported in 2018 that most successful cyber attacks were performed by hackers trying to masquerade as popular companies in order to trick users into clicking on fraudulent links. Here are a few examples of my own. The following are a couple tips and tricks that I use to stay secure online. Dual authentication is a very powerful system that provides an extra roadblock when logging into a personal account from a new device. Here is an example of me trying to log into a school account from a work computer. Another tool you can use is a VPN. According to VPN Pro, a VPN encrypts the data sent out from your device before it gets sent to an internet service provider, making it much more difficult to intercept to collect passwords and data. Thanks for watching and make sure to be safe online.